Swarm. Do it. Do 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 do. Beamer. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another BMO Creative. This is a Neverwinter Let's Play down here in the Whispering Caverns. And we are about to go into an area called the Iron Heart. I think it's going to be a lot more Mind Flayers, so without any further delay, we better get going. Oh man, it would be awesome to have better armor, better weapons. Um, be level 70, that'd be nice. But we're, we're going in here at level 68. I think being a ranger, um, I'm not going up in levels as fast. Whoa, that T-Rex, man, that's so cool. Look at him go. What's he doing? He must be looking for something. Anyway. Yeah, I think as a ranger, I don't go up in levels as quickly because I can shoot stuff at a distance and I don't have to kill everything. So I'm not getting the kind of experience that I would get as a rogue or a barbarian, maybe. We're going to have to try that theory out. I'm planning on making another Let's Play with a uh, maybe a female half-orc. And jo just go all out with her. Max her out with uh, armor and abilities and everything. And see if it's easier playing a big half-orc with a plus two to strength as compared to this uh, dwarf here. And playing the half-orc in her element, I mean, using a giant two-handed weapon that she can just swing around like a crazy person. That would be pretty awesome. I hope you have a strong grip on your sanity, friend, for you've entered a place unlike any other. Dude, you have, like, the coolest Edward Scissorhands-looking body armor. You kind of look like a Mind Flayer, kind of. So you found your way here as well. It's good to know the portal is still open. Welcome to a place like no other in the realms. If indeed we still are in the realms. Good point. We went through a portal. Well, that could mean time and space. We could be anywhere, man. We could be on another planet for all we know. As long as there's oxygen, I'm good, I guess, you know? We've done some investigating, but have not gone far because of the many perils we found in our path. Oh, yeah. One thing is clear. The Mind Flayers have come here for a reason. And I very much doubt it'll benefit us to allow that mission to succeed. We've seen that these creatures can control others with the power of their minds. This is how they force the Duragar to do their bidding. Hmm. The same could easily happen to any of us. It would be wise for you to eliminate some of the Mind Flayer masterminds that ensnare their many thralls. For me, so far, they haven't controlled me at all except to s put a delay on me. Like, they'll hit me with some kind of a zap and it, like almost like a taser, and it like stops me in, in full swing. The elithids rely more on psionics, the power of the mind, than on magic. In our exploration, we encountered strange elithid-made stones that affected our emotional state. We felt fear, pain, and overwhelming despair in their presence. We need to find some defense against the power of these stones. What? We inscribed several mind blank spells upon this scroll. Although the spell is intended to prevent others from reading your mind, I suspect it may also have the power to neutralize the resonant stones. Please locate a few of the stones and give it a try. Wait, what? You you gave me a scroll that keeps others from reading my mind, so you know they're going to try to read my mind is what you're saying, and you want me to try it on some other... Okay, why not? Why not? Dude, do you have better armor? Please tell We're me, getting dude. Close to Lost you again? Ah, the wonders we shall see then. Did you follow me down here? So you've got the same stuff that the that you had up top then. Well, while I'm here, I might as well sell you some stuff. I'm gonna sell you that, that. I found that, that was cool, but uh, not that cool. Okay, that, that. What else, what else, what else? I guess that's good. I feel pretty empty here. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Thank you, sir. All right. Oh. Wonder what she wants. I became an Underdark Guide to see new things, but I never imagined anything like this. Oh, really? Extra awful. That sounds like a quest. Ugh, those Mind Flayers gave me a serious case of the creeps. They're like someone walking around with an octopus on their head. And yeah. An octopus that wants to eat your brain. And the regular kind are nothing compared to the extra awful sort they call Thunhulks. 
Those creatures make the regular mind flayers seem darn right cuddly. Aside from being hard on the eyes, I'm pretty sure I don't want to face a Thunhulk in a fight either. You're the hired muscle around here. Why don't you get rid of some Thunhulks for us? Oh, so now I'm hired muscle? Find the darnest things in the underground. Okay. I'm hearing some really bizarre stuff. I wonder if it's coming through on the microphone. Where in the world are we? Oh, wow. Look at all these. The Ustilagor. I guess they're called Ustilagor. They look like brain dogs to me. I always call them brain dogs. So you shoot one, it attracts them, they all charge, and if you're still alive after they hit you, then you swipe with your most powerful melee attack and take them out. Am I going to enter the contest by grabbing this? I have entered the contest. Look at me. Okay. Kill a Thune Hulk. I guess I'm gonna just run over here and try. Why not? After I get some treasure, of course. Okay. I feel better. I feel better about this mission. This mission is looking up. Okay. I don't like the idea that he's got all those brain dogs around him, though. I'm gonna have to shoot the brain dogs first. Get them to come to me. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, what was that? He just tried to sucker me in. Ow, that hurt. I almost got him. Whoa, he blows up on top of everything else? Yeah, they do. She was right, they are pretty dangerous, so... Two complete cycles of all of my encounter powers. Plus I have to get out of the way of them after they're about to die. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, now these guys. <laughs> Okay, um, use the mind blank scroll on resonance stones, so let's go do that. That must be one of them right there. Man, these mind players. Wow. Yeah, it's getting really tough. This, these things slow me down when I'm close to them. Otherwise, no effect. But it did definitely feel like it was slowing my movements. I see another stone over there. Let's try it. Man, that didn't work too well keeping at a distance. So I'm just going to run in this time. I can't really tell, honestly, if that worked better or not. Well, let's go ahead and stay in the competition. What are we? We're still in third place. We have one more stone to collect. So far, the scroll he made seems to work on it, though. It shuts him down completely. Wow. 
Wow. That was really tough. Okay, so here's the last one. Okay. Wow, that was so loud. I didn't realize how loud those stones were until I got rid of them all. Okay, let's go. Let's go back. Talk to Ravaris and Thinkerstone is her name. Let's hurry. Or his name. Which one is Thinkerstone and which one is Ravaris? Well, we're about to find out. Sounds like a detective agency. Thinkerstone and Ravaris. Or Ravaris and Thinkerstone. So this is Thinkerstone. Holly Thinkerstone. <laughs> okay. You really took down a Thunhulk? I did. Whew, I'm impressed. You know, I think the best part of being an Underdark Guide is leading adventurers to monsters and letting them kill the awful things while I watch from a safe distance. Fair enough. Thank you, Miss Thinkerstone. We are now level 69. What did that do for us? That unlock anything? I don't see anything unlocked. Nothing better. Uh, sooner or later, I'm going to have to make a choice on these. Uh... Because they would improve my attack damage a lot. Uh, let's see. Your melee encounter powers cause your next range encounter powers to deal 12% more damage. Or vice versa. Okay. And this one. Each second you stay in melee stance, your melee attacks deal 2% more damage up to a total of 20%. The same for range stance and range damage. So if I stay in range longer, I get more damage vice and back and forth. But I, I tend to switch a lot, so probably going to end up going with that one. Using a ranged encounter power reduces your other ranged encounter power cooldowns. Same with melee. Your melee encounter power shorten your cooldown of ranged ones and vice versa. So see, I need to go with both of those green ones so far. Using a melee encounter power grants flurry. I don't use flurry, do I? Well, um, I'm about to look and see what is flurry. Okay, I don't use it. For three seconds, flurry causes your melee at will attacks to deal double damage. What? Really? Using melee encounter powers grants flurry for three seconds. Nice, actually. It does double damage. Or... The final hit of electric shock marks the primary target. Attacks deal 10% of the original damage taken to all nearby enemies, including themselves. Yeah. So this one. Choose this feat. This one. Choose this feat. This one. Choose that feat. Okay, I feel more powerful already. All right, let's talk to this guy real quick. That was well done. The Thanks. fewer elected masterminds, the smaller the chance we ourselves will fall under the control of these aberrations. Okay. So the mind blank spell did block the effects of the resonant stones. They did. Your efforts have proven a theory that may be the key to devising an effective defense against these mind weapons. Someday, all who venture into the Underdark may benefit from the work you've done here. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Yeah. You've done well, but the time has come for you to push into areas where no guide has yet ventured. I'm not certain why the Mind Flayers have gathered here and opened this long-sealed vault. I'm certain no good can come of it. Travel deeper into the vault and see what? what you can discover. Take any opportunity you find to thwart the Mind Flayer schemes. May luck go with you. What? Go deeper into the... What? Oh, man. Okay, let me check my mounts. I want to see if everybody's maxed out here. Looks like it. Man... Wait a minute. You could use some stuff. Okay. Let's go. We'll go down there and see what in the world he wants us to see. 
deeper into this place. Oh man, this place is so insane. Okay. We're running it. We are running it. Oh wait, there's a guy over here. They ain't it my brain. You must be an adventurer. I was one too. Had a whole party of friends to adventure with till we was put for the way. You know, to some of the dungeon, and every couple of days we would come and visit the people. What? And some friends up. So there weren't no one left but me. But I escaped that it. No, I want to be revenge. Make like an adventurer. And fetch me the brains of the mind players. Really? One for every member of me old house. Why not? Before we go up higher, we're going to collect seven brains from mind flares. Let's do this. One. Do I see a scrying orb up there? I think I do. That's two. The only way to know for sure is can I get up here? Looks like I can. There it is. Yeah, there is a scrying orb over there. Come on. Okay, so there's two more brains. And the scrying orb. So cool. I knew I saw it. Okay, let's go ahead and collect that. I Man, we collect this, that will be... Oh, how do I get up there? There we go. All three of them in the Dread Vault. Check me out. Yeah. So now you guys know where they are too. So you can get uh, the same accomplishment. Is that not cool? Yeah. Yeah, it is cool. Okay. Anyway. Let's go get some more brains. Well, before we get brains, I see treasure over here. We need three more brains. Oh, I don't want to take on a Thune Hulk right now. Okay, so that's two more brains. All I need is one more. Man, that scroll is not working for me right now. Ah, get away from it, get away from it. Okay. I need one more. One more brain. But in order to get one more brain, I'm gonna have to go down here and take on five or six of these guys. Oh man. Ow. There, all that. I'm gonna get some extra brains just in case. Wonder what he's gonna do with all these brains. Okay, man, you got a sack of brains. Here you go. Okay. You got them brains. Hand them over. Okay. I'll teach them players to eat the brains of your friends. Oh, yes. Exactly. Just never you mind. I paid your parents well for your work, so you could just go about your business. Okay. You plan on eating the brains? 
You're gonna eat mind player brains? I wish I could hang out here and watch him to see what happens to him eating those brains. Oh well. Hey, that was a good adventure. That raised us up almost to level... about halfway between level 69 and 70. That's really, really good. Okay, this adventure is almost over. We're almost at the end of it here. Where are we going? And here we are. And we are to a captured drow. You shall be the instrument of my vengeance, what? surface dweller. A surface dweller? Here? A stroke of luck at last. Really? Hmm. Okay, um, strange stroke of luck. Apparently we're going to be helping that drow down here. Of all things, uh, bad guy drow too. So anyway, hey. This has been another BMO Creative Neverwinter Let's Play. If you like this kind of thing, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, the next one, I guess we'll be working with that drow over there. We'll maybe see a dungeon run or two. Yeah, so we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye.